In this series, we'll show you how to use the WellPlate Navigator, a simple, effective tool for WellPlate acquisition, available in Celsin software. The WellPlate Navigator supports a variety of WellPlates. It can easily create or copy acquisition patterns and group wells for complex experiment settings and easy data handling. In this video, you'll learn how to prepare to use the WellPlate Navigator. If you already know how, skip to part two of this series. Let's get started. First, set the stage limit calibration. Click Calibrations on the Start page or Acquire on the menu bar. Double-click Stage Limits. Then, click Next. Check all the boxes and click Next. Now, we can set the XY limits of the stage and the software. Let's start with the maximum Y value. Continue pressing the arrow button until the stage reaches its mechanical limit. Then click Y max. Repeat this process for X max, Y min, and X min. If you already know the values, you can enter them directly in each box. Now the stage can drive to the full range of its mechanical limits. Please click Next. Let's calibrate the Z limit. Here, we can set the software limit of the Z motor to make sure you can focus on your well plate. Select the observation method and either focus on your sample or on the top surface of the well plate using transmitted light observation. Drive the Z motor up slightly and then click Read Current Z Position to set the limit. Click Next, then Finish and then close. Now let's register and calibrate the well plate. Click Well Navigation in the Layout tab. Make sure that the lowest power objective lens is selected. Select the Transmitted Light Observation method, then click New Well Plate. You can choose from a variety of well plates. If your plate isn't listed, select Custom and input the number of rows and columns, the well shape, and numbering. In this example, we'll select a standard 96 well plate and click Create. The calibration process will begin automatically. We are going to register three points at three wells for calibration. Drive the stage to position A1, which is in the upper left of the well plate, using the stage handle. Drive the stage to the end of the well and click Confirm Position. Then drive the stage to another edge of well A1 and click Confirm Position. Do this a third time so that all three positions are registered in well A1. Next, drive the stage to the upper right well, which is A12 in a 96 well plate. Clicking the upper right part of the Stage Navigator tool window may be easier than using the stage handle. Confirm you're observing well A12, then register three more positions. Repeat this process in the lower right well, H12. Once you've registered three positions and three wells, the calibration process is complete and the icons in the Well Navigator tool window are now active. You'll see a yellow circle on the Stage Navigator tool window. This indicates the edge of the current well. It's similar to watching a live image. You can click on a box in the Well Navigator tool window matrix to drive the stage to the center of the respective well. You can also use the arrows to move the stage to adjacent wells. For added convenience, you can save your current calibration as an overview area.
you can register a variety of well plate types and load them anytime, so you don't need to repeat the calibration process each time you use the well navigator. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the next video in the Well Navigator series where I'll explain how to acquire data. For more information, visit olympus-lifescience.com.